An attic shadowed by memories of a previous build now holds a chilling secret. In a world where trust is thin and danger lurks behind every corner, two twins rise to the challenge, their bond unbreakable, their disagreements unforgettable. But as darkness gathers, they uncover a horror unlike any other, rats that have developed a taste for their own. Can the twins put aside their differences to face a menace that threatens to consume all? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. Nice to see you. Thank yes. you for coming by. Five-year rat problem. It's coming on that, yeah. So you've had other pest control companies here for a while? How many different ones? So Terminex, okay. um, uh, Aptiv, and then an independent. When we had the new roof put on, I was like... You thought it was done. Blue tape. It's where they've chewed oh, through, they're the chewing through the ceiling. Whoever built like? this, yeah, they had the plumbing run through the ceiling. So when we renovated, all of the plumbing was redone, brand new, okay. either PEX or copper. Everything that was in here was taken out. So all of the stuff that was in the wall is gone. There's nothing left from that plumbing. No in this waste wall. pipes at all? No waste pipes, no nothing. For sure. For sure. I'm not sure I believe you. I don't know if it's important to, but when we dropped the ceiling, when we were renovating, it was full of rat. Oh yeah, they'd had a rat problem that, yeah. before. Okay. Yeah, they'd had a rat problem before, but then when, like I said, when we got the, first got the house, we never had an issue. The five different or four different exterminators have already been around the house over and over excluded. So the independent was the only one who did, as far as I can tell, a walk around. The last time I had someone here, which would have been two months ago, the guy came out and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you got a rat. Yep, sure. Um, here, let me put a trap in your attic. That's it. That was it. You're not supposed to do that. That was an open hole. And I was back here getting rid of weeds and I looked up there and you could see the rat staring at me from out. Right here, mijo. There used to be a kitchen. Used to be a kitchen right here, but he's saying that all the vents have been capped off. Right here is the laundry. They started chewing the ceiling in this area. Look at this right here. Wide open. Four rat exterminators have been here and that's not even covered in guys, to be honest with you. It smells like rat urine, but I'm not seeing any rub marks. That could be a problem. All right guys, so <laughs> here we are again. All these traps deployed. You can see a little, oh, look at this. Ooh. That's his head. No way. <gasps> okay, here's another one. Jeez, I've never seen this before. Oh my God. I have never seen this before. The plot thickens, as they say. Okay, so this one's deployed. This one's deployed. No rat. No rat. droppings in below it open pipe right there guys and also right here. tons tons of rat poop and where does it lead to you look at all of this nesting material here nesting right there and bingo right there right there wow that was fast five years we found it within 10 minutes, guys, just because the rats leave you clues. It's our job as rat exterminators to put the puzzle together and bam, that's what we did right here. So the guys are gonna perform a smoke test. I'm gonna stay up in the attic. Uh, we wanna verify if in fact, this particular three inch vertical vent line is still live. We don't wanna assume that that's it. By doing the smoke test, we're gonna accomplish uh, several things right now. So I'm just waiting for the team. And uh, if we do get smoke, that's it right there. I should have a crawl suit, but I get so excited that I just wanna get deep dive and solve this, my passion. But we definitely need a crawl suit. I felt bad for my brother Dave today, so I decided to, uh... You know, I've been working so hard that 
I need a break. Yeah. If you look at all the videos that we've done, it's been me, you guys, crawling. It's been me figuring out all of these rat jobs. It's, it's me. This is, this whole YouTube channel is about me. Post in the comments, guys. Do you guys like Dave better or Jim better? I can't tell the difference. All right, here we go. Here's the moment. Here's the moment for Sarah and Richard. Isn't it amazing how the, uh, how the rats drag all of this in to make a nest? Oh wait, we're getting massive smoke by this nest. Ow. Right by you, There's a, is there a pipe? Yeah, there's another another pipe there, Debo. It's cut off, huh? Yeah, bro, bad. Three open pipes so far, right off the bat. Three open pipes. All right, so now I'm gonna head head that direction where that living room, where the kitchen was. I gotta head over there to see how, if any way, they're getting on that side. So it's gonna be a tough crawl, but we've got to do it. I think you can, because I believe in you. I see a hole. I see how they're getting in. Check it out. See where my light is right there? Yes! Yes! By pest control companies. Unbelievable. What'd you got, Tom? No activity. I can see you got a crack pipe. Where is it, Dalton? It's right up, up in there. Over there, yeah. The rats aren't coming through? No. And there's no rat droppings down here? No droppings. Okay. That looks like a big mouth just looking at us going, wow. So this is where the rats were chewing through the ceiling. Yeah. And look at this. Look at the smoke. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So now that we've got that smoke, we're going to open up this ceiling right here to investigate what's going on inside of here. Guaranteed, when they did this remodel, they forgot to cap that stuff off. We've got to get it open. We've got to be able to get a visual perspective of what's going on up here. Opened up. Looks like they can see the smoke here. Let's get, let's get a camera and let's get a visual perspective. Yeah, so my brother was all upset because I opened up right here. So, where did you want to open up, Jim? Uh, more towards that way. No, you didn't. You wanted to open up right here. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. In the very beginning, you wanted to open up here. No, I wanted to open up. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You said right here. You said right here. He said right here. I don't know what to believe anymore. Are you guys ready for the smoke? Yeah, kick the smoke on. I don't see any smoke. Oh, here it goes. Yep, here it is. Yeah, it's starting to come through. Frickin' roofers just severed all of these pipes to put their new plywood down. And they just whacked all of these pipes here. We have found so many entry points from the roof to all of those plumbing vents. The roofer, in my professional opinion, really, really did a number on these uh, vent pipes here. We're gonna have to reveal all this to the homeowner and see if they wanna go into phase two, which is gonna be a pretty hefty price to resolve this. Open pipe there, right into the attic. When did they do the roof? Seven years ago. Okay. They did a number on these. What happens, in our professional opinion, they just cut those vent pipes and slap their new roof right over them. That right there, that's the main entry that's point. That's the main entry point of the sewer rats. You've got sewer rat issue. So that roofer really screwed us over. Yeah, he yeah. did. Big time. Yeah. You Isn't might it? be able to have some recourse. The same roofer just did a did a house down here on the street oh, like a better, month ago. I'm going to go down there and tell him. Oh, yeah. You're in big trouble, mister. 
And so we just got approval to go ahead and go into phase two, which is gonna be doing all the sanitization, getting all those plumbing vents out of the roof. And we're gonna need a lot of this, the Twinzyme. just ran out of that nest. Yeah, like right, we were vacuuming that rat nest and one just bolted right out of it and went. Oh, this rat nest up here? Yeah. Yeah, got a live rat. I heard. We were, oh, we were vacuuming the nest out of the attic and then one just bolted, probably headed over there. So we're gonna catch him tonight. Okay. We're gonna catch him. So that rat that just left that rat nest, he's got no chance. Stay tuned for this one. We've got everything cleaned up, got the pipes completely capped off. This is the time to trap. As you notice, the other pest controllers had all those traps up there, flipped over, flipped not over, secured, and didn't solve the rat issue. So what's the point of trapping? If you notice in all our videos, we find and investigate first, trap them inside, and that is the magic of trapping. So right. we're gonna feature, this is what I'm gonna go with today. I've baited with the uh, healthy bits treat here for a lot of the rodents here. And then I've also baited in inside of our bait tugger, this little fruit bar. That's the great thing about the bait tuggers is that I'm able to provide a variety of baits. What we've noticed with the bait tugger is that it's perfectly in alignment with the rat's head. Yep. So as they come in here to get the bait, that kill bar is slamming them right on the head. So it's a much faster kill. Now, if I were just to glue a piece of dog food or pet food on that trigger, their heads tend to go in a little bit too far. The kill bar hits them on the neck and they're able to get away. So that's why it's important that we combine the hoodie and the bait tugger. So Dave, what are you gonna go with today? <sighs> Guys, these are sewer rats. They're coming in from the sewer. I'm going to uh, choose the rat back in this situation here. I'm gonna go ahead and bait it with peanut butter just like this. So what happens guys is the rats come through here, they hit our sensor because here's the bait. So David likes to add a lot of bait in this area right here along with the uh, bait port here. But the rats come here, as soon as they hit this sensor, he kind of looked like a rat there. Okay. So David's gonna do the sucking and I'm gonna do the snapping. Post in your comments what you think. Is it gonna be the snapping or, or the is it gonna be sucking? All right guys, so we've got the twins rat back set up, all baited inside. So if you notice, obviously we're dealing with sewer rats like Dave said earlier. This is where the old pipe was. Naturally, they're gonna to come towards the pipe. So Dave has a great idea with the twins rat vac. And then right to the left here, we have the twins rat hood with the rat tugger and platform here. All baited, ready to go, locked and loaded. Go to twintraps.com and order yours today. Come on, do it. The most effective rat trapping you will ever have, I promise you. That was a pretty good commercial, Dave. I agree with him. Go to twintraps.com, order now. Support us, guys. We're working hard to help you guys solve your rat issues. And by you purchasing our products that we've taken a lot of time and effort in inventing and patenting would truly, truly be an honor for you to support us. Thank you. The Deadly Duo. Would you prefer snapping or would you prefer sucking? All right, so here's, I'm gonna show you how it works. Here's a PEX piping, a little rubber glove. Make sure we get rid of all of this nonsense. You know, if you're a pest control company and you are gonna use these, you, can, you shouldn't just be setting them on insulation. Okay, that's gotta stop. You gotta secure them down. At least secure them down. A few moments later. 
Guys, we just left 30 minutes ago. Check out the camera here. What's interesting is the rat goes straight to where he was coming in and out and he actually gets on his hind legs and reaches over and basically says, where's the pipe? It's gone. It's just a matter of time now. He boy's gonna get sucked or snapped. Stay tuned. Day two. Guys, it's the next morning, 5.30 in the morning. Last night was full of action. There's two rats. One we caught in Jimmy's trap, but the other rat is cannibalizing like you wouldn't believe. He just doesn't stop. It's unbelievable what we witnessed last night. This rat is literally chewing on this other rat's ass, you guys. It's he absolutely is just amazing. Going to town. All right, let's see if the wise alarm will repel this guy and get him out of there. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> it actually worked. I love it. Well, Jimmy got me on the first rat, but the second one, I think I have a great shot, guys, because most of these big smart rats don't like to go after those snap traps once they know that it's death. So I think I have a great shot of sucking this last one up. Leave in your comments, because if I do, we're tied. Here we go. Day three. Guys, I knew it. Literally the next morning at around 3 a.m. Check it out. He got sucked right up. He wanted nothing to do with that snap trap. That's why it's important to give variety, you guys. That's sucking cool, and you know it. Leaving your comments, you know that was sucking cool. And Jim, we are tied, brother. Yes. Guys, this house is rat free. We have monitored. There is no other rat. It's just those two. We got them. Bam. I'm excited, guys. The rat bag.